hi viewers welcome to the nsk youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to explain you how to create ornamental rails in tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your tecla structures with us environment now we're going to create beam so click on steel and select this beam and zoom it pick the first point at here and pick the second point to create beam like this right click on mouse interrupt and zoom it like this Okay, now we're going to create rails. So click on this application of components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here. In search bar, type number 86. Then you will get this component, ornamental rails S86 number component. So select this component and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here. Now pick the object as a beam. Now press this scroll middle button to create the rails like this. Now close this window. Now right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, redraw. You can see by default you will get ornamental rights like this. Okay, now we're going to see the editing options, how to change the profiles and the spacing and height and width and everything. So double click on this component, double click on this profile, click on parts tab, how to change the vertical pipe profiles, height and the spacing and the profile size and the edge distance. So you should remember this number 76 at the last two digits then click on modify apply ok. Now click on this application components and type here 76. Now we will get this component number S76 so double click on this component. Now from this picture tab you can control the height of this vertical pipe for example we're going to take here 4 feet 6 inch and the spacing edge distance from edge of the beam to first pipe distance by default we have the 6 inch let's take here 7 inch or 8 inch let's take 8 inch and similarly at this position also we're going to take 8 inch distance between edge of the beam to first pipe distance on right side let's take 8 inch now coming to at the middle by default we have the maximum spacing here 4 feet 6 inch if you want to increase or you can increase from here if you want to reduce you can reduce from here for example we're going to take here 4 feet 10 inch then click on modify apply then click on save as here then click on load modify apply ok then right click on mouse interrupt. Now we're going to update this component in this component. So close this window. Now double click on this component. Go to parts and click on here. Now type here in the search bar 76. Now we need to import this component. So double click on this component. Then click on modify to update. You can see now the height increased 4 feet 10 inch and the edge distance was increased to here 8 inch and here also increased 8 inch. Now coming to the profile, you can change the profile also. So close this window. Now double click on this component, double click on this component number 76 and go to the parts tab. Under parts, you can see by default we have the pipe one and of standard pipe. So now I'm going to change this profile. So click on here. In the list we're going to take here pipe to standard pipe so click on apply okay now select this profile copy use the shortcut ctrl c and paste it here use the shortcut ctrl v for paste then click on modify apply click on save as and load it then click on modify apply okay now we're going to update this profile so right click on mouse interrupt double click on this component now go to parts we already have the number 76 component it here so just click on modify to update you can see now the pipe size increases the vertical pipe then click on ok click on space right click on mouse view you can see now this pipe size should be pipe to standard pipe okay now we're going to change this top rail pipe also right click mouse interrupt so close this window now double click on this component now go to parts tab you can see now have railings option component number 77 
so close this window and go to the application components and here type number 77 you will get this component number 77 s 77 so double click on this component and use the screen controller to move the window up and down if you don't have this screen controller please go to my channel and watch it how to download and install the screen control so click on this window and use the screen control to adjust this window up and down click on here and select this option ornamental pickets no returns then click on load it now go to parameters and rails go to rails tab and here we have the size of this uh, top rail pipe one and off standard so now i'm going to change this profile so click on here and let's take pipe to standard so apply okay now just copy it Ctrl C copy and paste here this is the shortcut Ctrl V so click on modify apply now go to the bottom and click on save as and load it you should save save as and load it otherwise this will not update in this component so then click on modify apply ok then title must interrupt now close this window now double click on this component now go to parts and we need to import that number 77 component so click on here in search bar type number 77 now you'll get this component so double click on this component now you can see now number 77 component is updated click on the modify to see the result you can see now the top rail pipe also updated so now coming to this top and bottom and this pattern so click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse redo to update this double click on this space first now click on this display and you need to tick mark here under component and symbol option then click on modify apply ok now you will get this component symbol here so select this option select object in component then double click on this component by default we have the top rail here size is pipe one out of std now we're going to change this profile so click on here uh, let's take here pipe to standard pipe then click on apply okay now just select and copy it and paste it here to update the bottom rail profile also then click on modify to see the result you can see now the pipe size should be pipe to standard pipe at the top and bottom also okay now coming to these patterns to change this uh, standard patterns then, then under the option pickets number one then click on here these are the standard profiles according to us environment so for example by default we have the standard profile here jb 531d now we're going to change into jb 530d then click on apply ok and at the bottom also we are going to change this one so select this jb530 then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result you can see now picket profiles are changed like this now click on here for example we are going to change into 533d then click on apply ok and click on here let's take jb533 apply ok then click on modify to see the result you can see you'll get like this okay now coming to this thickness of this picket you can change this picket thickness from this option by default we have the half inch thickness for example we're going to take 3 by 4 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now thickness of this picket increases uh, similarly you can reduce also from this option okay now coming to this option uh, from this option you can change the number of pickets at here you can see 9 indicates the number of pickets 9 at this location for example you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 for example we're going to take here 6 pickets then click on modify you can see now we have the 6 pickets with the echo spacing in between the 2 pickets like this you can adjust the edge distance here also from the pipe to edge of the first picket and edge of the second picket to edge of this pipe okay for example we're going to take here four inch then click on modify to see the result 
you can see now the spacing between the pipe to edge picket should be 4 inch similarly you can change the top side also uh, from the top rail to this pipe distance for example by default we have the 6 inch or we're going to take here 7 inch then click on multiply to see the result you can see now the spacing should be 7 inch like that you can adjust this spacing from this option okay you can change the height of the picket also here for example we're going to take here two feet and we're going to change the pattern also click on here these standard patterns are 36 inch length patterns means uh, three feet for example we're going to take here two feet patterns here then select this pattern double click on it now similarly we're going to change the picket number two option also let's take two feet long pattern double click on it then now we're going to change update the profile so click on modify to update the profile you can see now I have the two feet length pickets here now we're going to change this uh, number of pickets also for example here let's take three pickets then click on modify to see the result you'll get like this okay now we're going to change spacing here let's take eight inch edge distance uh, to create proper pickets like this now increase the spacing 10 inch then click on modify like this let's take stove like that you can create this type of pickets from this option for example in the second option we have here 34 inch long pickets you can create the same option at here with the 36 and 37 40 and 42 inches long pickets according to your requirement you can change here by default we are going to take here three feet pickets so let's take 36 and 30d and we're going to change here 36 length apply ok then click on modify and we're going to increase the length here let's take here three feet and the number of pickets we're going to take here seven then click on modify to see the result okay now we're going to change the edge distance five inch then click on modify like this okay now we're going to maintain the top and bottom spacing equal so let's take here eight inch then click on modify not here let's take the spacing here nine inch let's take eight then click on modify like this okay uh, to update this same profile to the remaining pickets then hold the control button and select the remaining macros component then click on modify to update the profile like this okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse redirect to hide this component symbol double click on space and go to display and remove the tick mark here then click on modify apply okay click on okay click on space right click on mouse redirect okay that's it about how to create ornamental rice in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you